Okay. Today, we're gonna make some potato pancakes that are absolutely the best you'll ever eat. These potato pancakes are incredible. It's an old recipe from the old country, and I'm gonna show you how to make them in 30 minutes so that you can have a meal prepped in 30 minutes for you, your family, a bunch of elves, three or four reindeer, whatever it is you have laying around the house. And if, oh, here's another one. You better put another one in here. These are good, oh, two of them. Okay, let's start doing this. First, I'm gonna wash and scrub these potatoes. And I do that over here in the sink, going, they're all done. And here they are, washed and cleaned. What we're gonna do now is take these washed potatoes and we're gonna peel these four washed potatoes. And I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna peel them as fast as I can. I really peel fast. Like I said, I'm gonna peel them really quick. And there's one. Okay, potato. Once we get all these potatoes peeled, and I am peeling them, you can see that pretty clearly. The next thing I'm gonna do right after that is I'm gonna to start to prep my skillet. Believe it or not, by the time the skillet gets hot, these will be ready to fry. There they are. They've already been washed once. Rinse them slightly. Good. They'll be cleaned again too, okay? Now we're gonna go over to the skillet, to the stove, and lay it around. I'm gonna turn this on a medium heat. About six is what that's on. You can see that right there. So we're ready now for this. Now we're gonna go back over and cut the onion. Remember, it's four potatoes, oops, one onion, and it's, it'll be four tablespoons of flour. And leave some of the peeling on them, just a tad. It's, a, it's actually pretty healthy, and it also gives a nice texture, visual texture, to your pancakes. Drop them into your processor after you've diced them. Okay, this goes quick. And it's kind of fun, too. This is a meal that, boy, howdy, people are gonna say, whoa, where'd you learn to cook that? Well, I saw it on a YouTube video someplace, or I saw it on some channel. It's called SantaCooking.com, okay? So I'm gonna take the onions, put the onions in. That's number two. One onion, four potatoes. I'm gonna use four tablespoons of flour. One tablespoon of flour per potato. So one, and these are the type of tablespoons I'm using, okay? The kind you really use at the table. Two, three, and four tablespoons of flour. One for good major, okay? About half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, okay? Now, four eggs, and I'm pouring them in. And that's pretty much all you have to put in there. All you have to do then, bring the top down, make sure you're ready to roll, and listen for the noise. Okay, now, while that's rolling, I'm gonna go back over here and check my skillet. Looking good. Just perfect, we're, we're so much on time. Let's go back here and look at this. Now, with that being said, the four eggs have been used, the onion, the four potatoes, the four tablespoons of flour, and the salt and pepper, and it's all right here. And this is truly the very best potato pancake you'll ever eat. You can see by the processing, that's done. You're now ready to actually start cooking supper. Now that took, I'm looking at the clock, seven minutes for me to show you how to do that. That's all that is, just seven minutes. Now we can surely make a quick meal within seven minutes. I'm gonna put a, a drop of this into the skillet. I'm gonna wait for the sizzle noise, and when it gives me a sizzle noise, I know it's ready to cook. And see, it's beginning to sizzle. You'll see that little sizzling going on, which means our temperature's getting up, and all I'm gonna do is flip that one right there, and see how it's kind of white? We want it to be just a little brown on the edges. So once it gets a little more sizzle to it, we'll be ready to start. And what's amazing is, is how fast this is. This is an incredibly fast meal, okay? And I believe that we're really, really close here. Just give just another little second. Kind of turn it a little bit. Boy, it looks pretty, doesn't it? Mm. Boy, if you could smell this, if we had smell-o-vision, you'd be saying, that smells really good. This will make a really good potato pancake. Turn it over. Look at that. It's got that little brown edge. You can hardly see it, but it's there. Now we're ready to make pancakes. And all we're going to do is take one of these and just dip a little bit into the skillet here, 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 and here. Now the first four pancakes that come out, 
will, will tend not quite to be as crisp, but that's okay. That's just the skillet warming up and getting its temperature and they'll still be just as delicious. There won't be a person in the room that'll argue with being able to eat these. These are really, really fun and fast to cook. This is one of my favorite meals to cook and it's one of the family's favorite to eat. The, it's quick, it's easy, and it's a, it's a guaranteed success. If you follow this recipe, and, and there'll be a recipe on my website, but again, it's just four potatoes, it's four eggs, four heaping tablespoons of flour, the kind you eat at the table, that kind of tablespoon, a little bit of salt and pepper, kind of to taste, uh, not more than a quart of salt or pepper, maybe like, you know, well, you do it by the pound sometimes too, but not very much, just, I'd say probably a teaspoon or whatever, and then, uh, you mix it all together really well with your onion and bingo, that's it. And this is a traditional German recipe it's from the old country, you know. So now let's take a look at our skillet and see how she's going. You can see the sizzle on the edges and see that beautiful brown color you're seeing right there on these little pieces. That's a good sign. That means that these are gonna be really nice. So these would be good. I'm gonna turn this one over just for display purposes. And look at that, oh man, that's beautiful. Whoa, look at that. Mm. Come on, baby. Now, actually, what I've got to do now is after I turn this one over, I'm going to have to reduce the heat slightly because as we're cooking this, it's going to, the skill is going to continue to absorb heat. And we don't want it to get too high and burn. So I'm going to bring her down probably to about a seven, maybe an eight, something like that. And as you can see, these are getting done. Now, we serve these. Oh, it's almost time to feed the reindeer. I heard three cuckoos. Uh, I've got to feed the reindeer after a while. Anyway, we, feed, we, uh, we, we serve these with applesauce. It's served with uh, cottage cheese. Uh, it's served with uh, uh, sausages. Uh, oh, uh, maybe a good German or Polish sausage. It's served with all of these foods, any of these, and they're all just as good. But to be honest with you, these are great just the way they are. Maybe a little bit of ketchup with them next to them. And the nice thing is, you grab it when you're all done. You grab one of these tomorrow when there's some left over in the fridge. You pick it up and you eat it like a sandwich. You're gonna love it. I mean, it's really good. So let's take a shot and see how they're looking now. I think they're looking like they may be close to being finished. This first batch, mm, we'll, have, we'll, we'll have to check them out and test them, but I think this first batch is looking really, really good. What I'm gonna do now for, just because I like to, is I'm gonna take some uh, a paper towel I'm gonna lay it on this plate right here next to this little, hey, look at this, let me test it. Oh, oh, mm. best batch ever. Mm. I wish you could taste this right now. I'm promising you, if you do this recipe, you'll be the hero of the house. Let's take a look at these now. What I wanna do now is just check them and look at that, mm. boy, that's looking good. So all I'll do now, bring this plate over set it here and look at that they slide off onto there and this paper towel will kind of help absorb a little bit of the oil and uh and and be honest with you they're going to be pretty good mm -hmm. batch why like well that oil is nice, nice big one there that might be for me Ooh, that was a good one two let's get this little bitty one here that'll be for somebody else okay there's three of them now you can spice these with any kind of spice that you want to, a basil, oregano, or anything, but I wouldn't. I think you'll be fine. So this is our second batch in. When these are finished, we're gonna, we're gonna call it quits with these, and then I'll show you a finished plate full of them after a while. But I'm telling you right now, it's been 22 minutes since we started. 22 minutes, and we have potato pancakes ready for the family to eat. Look how good they look, all golden brown. Mm, boy, I can't wait. And check this out. Over here, we have some nice sausage, Polish sausage cooking. Mmm, boy, spicy, warm Polish sausage. And on the back burner, steamy sauerkraut. Now I'm telling you, look at that, steam's coming off it. That sour taste is already making my mouth sweat all over again. A meal like this, wait till you see it on the plate. Look how beautiful those look. Makes you wanna eat them. Remember, this only took 30 minutes. These guys right here, you cook them while you're doing the, everything else, they'll be done within the 30 minutes. That back there, pretty much already done. Open the jar of Frank's good old everyday sauerkraut, pour it in, and there she goes. Yep. Okay, we have it. We've finished the meal. Here are the potato pancakes, and I want you to look at these. These are absolutely beautiful. I couldn't have made them better. Oh, wait a minute, I did make them. 
<laughs> okay, these are wonderful pancakes, all within 30 minutes. Look at these sausage, these Polish sausage. They're really not Polish, they're turkey sausage, but they're just as good as you can be. And here, by the way, this, this platter, this comes from Great Grandma Mills. This is her platter that we're serving these on. What better way to serve a good meal? I'm just gonna take a little taste, hang on here. I, I get this before anybody else comes in the room. Once they come in, they're, they're gone. Oh, oh, guess what? Here's what I do. Mm. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and, shh, don't tell them, shh. What is this, white stuff? Oh, cottage cheese with a little salt and pepper and some green onions. Old recipe, easy to do. Pulverize it in your mixer or your blender. Here, well, you know what we have here, sauerkraut. We put this into this and we eat this all. This is a beautiful meal. I hope that you enjoy. Remember, 30 minute meal, four potatoes. We got four eggs and four tablespoons of flour. And we have one onion, some salt and pepper, and that's it. Look at that, fried to perfection. Now it's time to enjoy the meal. Stay tuned for many more wonderful recipes coming. And when you're all done, give yourself a sweet treat. You deserve it.